To quote Albert Schweitzer, sometimes our light goes out, but is blown into flame by another human being. Each of us owes deepest thanks to those who have rekindled this light. The recipient of our first Champion Award had a light blown out, but then figured out a way to help rekindle the light for many others. To learn more, please turn your attention to the screens. This year, the Jefferson Awards Champion for Outstanding Service by an Employee is shared by two women who are extraordinary volunteers. First, Brandy Sabatini Regan of San Francisco, California. In 2002, Brandy Sabatini Regan gave birth to her first child, a son she named Cole. But just six weeks into his young life, excitement turned to fear and grief. Cole was diagnosed with AML, acute myeloid leukemia, a rare, deadly cancer. Brandy watched as her son struggled to stay alive, enduring painful cancer-fighting treatments. Meanwhile, Brandy began volunteering for LLS, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. LLS is the world's largest voluntary health organization for funding blood cancer research, education, and patient services. From appearing on telethons to generating publicity on TV talk shows, Brandy did everything she could, telling Cole's story, helping LLS raise millions of dollars in the hope of finding a cure. Sadly, after just 21 months, Cole lost his battle to stay alive. For Brandy, however, her work is far from over. She is determined to keep Cole's memory alive. In addition to continuing to volunteer for LLS, Brandy made perhaps her greatest gift for the cause. After Cole passed away, she donated his body to pediatric cancer medical research in the hope that other children with cancer can benefit. For her outstanding volunteer efforts, the Jefferson Awards is proud to salute Brandy Sabatini Regan. Five years ago, the doctors told me that Cole's life was going to end and that I needed to prepare for the worst. And so I sat in his room and I cried over my child while doctors were asking me if I would please donate him to science and make a difference. So I signed the paperwork while I was holding him, knowing that I was just now given away. And I was so incredibly angry and wondering why that happened to me. And so I promised Cole that I would continue to be his advocate, and I promised him that I would go forward and I would keep on doing my charity work for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, because although all the fundraising that I had done for him, although it didn't work for him, will work for another child. And so I promised him, and I have kept on going, and I'm proud to say that I've helped raise over $2 million and as I spoke with Dr. Dahl, <laughs> as I spoke to Cole's oncologist last week, Dr. Dahl, who works at Stanford, told me that the 09 AML protocol has changed. Thanks to Cole, they will no longer do what they did in 02, and that children are now surviving longer due to what happened to us the changes in medicine, and Cole's body. So I'm very proud of my son, and although I felt my future was taken away from me, because I will not have another birthday, a marriage, grandchildren from him, but his future lives on through his brothers and sisters that I do have now, and hopefully through my charity work. 
And lastly, I wanted to read to you, and I brought it with me. I didn't think I was going to win anything, but I, I brought Cole's card that I gave out to everybody at his funeral. And although my child had a stroke at the end of his life and he was paralyzed and he could no longer talk to me, for five weeks I held him and I found this poem that I thought was very fitting, so I will say it to you now. You speak no language, yet I understand you so well. Silent angel, put your hand on my shoulder. Give me a feather from your wing. It will be a souvenir of my happiness. And as you go, kiss me on my forehead and make my soul as beautiful as yours. And so I thank Cole for every single thing he's given to me. And I thank Sam Beard and I thank the panel for what you've given to me because this truly is probably one of the best days of my life. So thank you.